Hey guys, well I just had a call from Alan. Uh, he's lost his wedding ring down here at Patonga. A uh, nice wedding ring. So uh, we're going to give it a bit of a bash and have a look for him. And look at his desperate face there. He desperately wants <laughs> his want ring back. back. Uh, it doesn't sound like the missus is too happy. Let's have a little look see, eh? Off your, off your hand or? Yeah, mate, I just flicked my hand and it fell off, so I'm trying to grab your daughter. Okay, so it has to be somewhere in this little area here. Do you think it flicked off like 10 foot or something? No, nah, it sounded like it dropped pretty close to me, so. So we did put a couple of sticks in the line roughly, so. Alright, well, we'll just grip this out bit by bit. I've yep. got another guy coming, Malcolm, in about five minutes. Yep. Hopefully we'll find it before Melbourne gets here. Yeah. <laughs> were you, how deep were you? Were you really? At the time it would have been about the same as this, so. Aluminium pool tab. <laughs> Unlucky. The same sound though. Exactly the same sound. Oh well that was a disappointment yeah. <laughs> one. Rush. Got me hopes up. No, if it's here it'll find it. Yep. Alan, go stand exactly where you think you reckon you would have lost it. Same about here. Okay. So Alan reckons about Listen. there. Let's see if he's. I flicked it down like that, so I'm, I'm hoping. Let's see if he's good on his word or not. Yeah. <laughs> now, my last dig with finding the wedding ring, I lost me good Oakley glasses <laughs> when I went underwater. <laughs> well, Alan, Alan told us it was in the water, and we've been in the water up to our waist for like the last hour, and he swore black and blue it was out here, and I said to him a million times, where were you, and he said he was out there, and we're all wet, Malcolm's over there all wet as well, and uh, I've just found it up here on the sand, <laughs> miles away, nice one. There you go, Alan. So listen, I'll give that back to you, Alan, now. Here's to the rightful owner. Nice one. Treasure Hunters, New South Wales. Free service to the public. Jump on board. And there you go, Alan. Thank you very much for that. There you go, bro. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Nice one. Thank you very much. Awesome. Where's Mel? He's over there now.
Mel was looking too. He's gone, he's gone. All right, so happy days. Happy days here for yep. Alan. Thank you very much. Um, we've come down here, we've searched for at least an hour and a half or so, and I was losing hope. I was, I'd like almost packed it in, and I would was going really deep, and uh, I thought I'd better come up here and check up on the sand just in case the, water, the tide's gone out a little bit. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you lose something, you know, just... You go, you lose your bearings and you just can't find it. So anyway, uh, we found it way up here near a set of thongs, which, you know, set of thongs you wouldn't even go near because it looks like it's someone else's. But anyway, Alan, happy days. Thank so you very much. You can tell appreciate them. them. Yeah, and definitely well, get on board with them. Where'd you find the number? I actually got it on, online. Google, online, so. alright. So there we go. Another one that's jumped online to find treasure hunters to find their lost heirloom down the down the central coast, down the beach, and uh, another win-win. Yeah, so definitely. jump on board, guys, and don't forget, go fund me if you want to donate a few bob, and happy days. See you, guys. Thank you.